Hi guys and welcome back to the Journeyman Challenge with KR Reykjavik and things have gone aggressively downhill since the previous episode where we defeated a throttle flag Akroness two go- by two goals to nil. Uh, we have played quite a few fixtures since then, I think it's about 10 games, maybe a little bit less. Uh, the first of which was a Premier Division tie at home to Keflavik. So we'll just have a look at that one there. So it ended 2-2. Keflavik taking the lead twice in the game, us pegging them back twice as well with Ljubicic and Bald Vinson. It was a pretty even game. Um, we just edged on the shots. It was even in possession. Um, there was some more good signs of Bald Vinson and Finn Bogerson linking up. But unfortunately, we, we, were, we were too even for each other. Too evenly matched. The next game was... In the Premier Division again against HK, and this one we should have won. We so should have won this one. It was nil nil. Um, well, you can see we had plenty of shots. We didn't have many on target, but we should have. The amount of shots we had, we should have had way more than that on target. Very disappointing result that one. And then came the Icelandic Cup game, which was against Dalvik Reinier, and we managed to win this one three one, as would be expected bit disappointed that it wasn't more actually given the reputation of the opposition that we were facing um and the amount of shots that we had disappointing shots on target six out of 21 is terrible beat them on possession as well bald vincent grabbed himself a man of the match with two assists and a goal then was another defeat in the premier division to like near reykjavik this time in a reykjavik derby Got beat by the narrowest of margins, but we didn't really create enough. Didn't create hardly anything. Two shots, one on target. Absolutely terrible. Then was a draw in the Premier Division again against IBV. A 1 1 draw. They took the lead in the fourth minute, but then Julie Carlson pegged them back in the 56th minute. Even game, very even game. A draw was probably a fair result. I was happy with the draw. Then we played Bride Blake for the first of two games in a row that we'd be playing against them. And we absolutely threw away this game. We were winning 2-0 until an on thought Ari Atlas and hat-trick on the 59th minute, 74th and 84th minute. We how, we how we lost this one is beyond me. We really need to book our ideas up because I fear that I'm going to get sacked again to be quite honest, especially with results like that. If we'd won that one, we would have gone up to something like fifth in the table. Instead, as you can see, by 10th. Um, next up was Bride Blick again, and we managed to win. This is what's so annoying as well. Like We were 2-0 up against them in the league, and then we beat them in the cup, 1-0, thanks to a very early goal from Alex Frey Hilmus, and quite an even game, but we managed to edge that one. If only we'd edged it in the league as well. And then two very disappointing results. Once more in the Premier Division, First up against Valur, 2 0 defeat. Veselin Minev, just before he retired, like one game before his retirement date, and he gets himself sent off. Brilliant. Don't know whether that was intentional or anything, just so that he could get an extra wage without having to actually play a game. But um, you see, Valur just edged it on a pretty much everything, and this is where alarm bells were ringing. I mean, alarm bells probably should have been ringing around there, but you see, we were. Kind of like we picked up points in them games, just narrowly lost that one, drew that one, should have won that one. So this is where the warning signs have started to come in. And then the last game that I've just played against FH where we lost 2-0 and we never looked like getting a goal in this game. Um, Just before I get into the tactics for the day, because we have made a tactical change, just want to go to transfers. Something annoying happened. Bergeson who was our centre midfielder, and he was performing excellently for us. You can see there, f- played four games for a 6.85. That's pretty good match rating. He, we received an offer of, was it 57,000, which could rise to 73,000. And the board came in and said that they wanted to accept it. I tried to protest the transfer, but the board weren't having any of it and decided that he should be sold for that much. So, very disappointing. Um, he was probably one of our better midfield performers. But, hey-ho. And then I am... I think I am trying to sign a... 
Yeah, I'm trying to sign a left back. When's he? Oh, he doesn't join until the 15th of July. I'll show you him here. From Grindavik, who, if you remember, beat us in the Upper League Cup in the first first game of the group stages. Uh, so this guy is to replace Mizev. Minev, even. I'm forgetting my players' names, although he has retired now. That's the reason why I need him to replace him, because we haven't got a, a suitable left back. And I think this guy could do the job. That's the reason he's been brought in. So, ooh, one more thing. Just had to look at my notes there. The World Cup has happened. So I'm just trying to get to that now. World Cup. So obviously this is Russia 2018. What's happening? Is it happening? Is it? Yeah, it's happening. So let's just see how things are going. In the World Cup. I'll go from the group stages. So Switzerland and Honduras qualifying out of their group. Argentina and Poland. Peru, France. Oh, Wales just missing out there. Well, I say just missing out by five points. Uruguay, Belgium. Ukraine and England qualifying in second. Holland and Senegal, Spain not qualifying from the group stages there. Germany and Ivory Coast qualifying. And Brazil and Italy qualifying from the group stages. And the second round. Any big names out so far? The second round still getting played. So Switzerland defeated Poland. Argentina beat Honduras. Peru are still to play Belgium. Uruguay beat France. Interesting. So there's still a few ties there. England have got Holland. So I'll keep keep you up to date with the, how the World Cup 2018 is getting on. But we'll get into the um, into today's game. So you can see I've changed the formation. So rather than having two centre midfielders, now I've got a defensive midfielder and a centre midfielder. I'm not sure how the, well this will work, as there is obviously a big gap in the centre of the midfield. But hopefully... We can get the ball quickly from the midfielders to the attacking midfielders and create a few a few chances that are actually going to go in. That's the dream anyway. So the game I've got today is against my former club and also the Reykjavik derby. So two reasons to want to win this one. A third reason would probably be because of our position in the league table. We are hovering above the relegation zone, which seems to be a, a pattern of mine in the Icelandic league I am seriously considering whether I should like move away from the Icelandic league because obviously that's not an excuse because it could just be that I'm terrible at this game but um hopefully it's not and that it's just I'm rubbish in Iceland or hopefully we can manage to get a win against Vikingur Reykjavik today I hope we can uh, they're a good team yeah blah 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 they got any they've still got a few players that I remember they've still got Shea and Goal, Bjorn Bjornson, the Rock still there, they've got a few players in there. Nikolai Hansen, Stefan Thor Paulson, Ivan Owen Johnson, and Adel Steinson. Yeah, there's still still a few players that from my tenure, as you would expect, it's only been it's been less than a year since uh since I left them really, hasn't it? I can't actually remember what when I left them. It must have been near the end of the season. So we'll just get Good Johnson to take the team talks as always. We'll get into the game. And hopefully it's going to be a good game for us. Obviously a victory today will not move us anywhere on the table. It'll just edge us a bit clearer of the relegation zone. Ivan Owen Johnson's got the ball on the left-hand side. Balby with a good tackle, but Hodzic has got it now. Hansen. And Baldwin Benedictson gives away the free kick. Is this going to be an early opportunity for a goal for Vikingo, I wonder? Gulzvik to Paulsen. Adel Steinsen through to Gulzvik. Oh, he should have scored. He should have scored that. That is a massive let off for our defence. And then we're on the break now with Lubacic, but they're coming back in numbers. Lubacic plays it to Benedictson. Hal Dawson. Finn Boggerson, Hilmarsson, Hal Dawson, I feel this highlight is pittering out. Lubicic shoots, oh, he scored! What a goal! What a goal from Bojan Lubicic! That is a goal against out of nothing. He scored against his former club as well. And my former club, of course. That was a goal out of absolutely nothing, that one. And out of the top draw as well. So Adel Steinson, though, Tasicic shoots for Viking This has been a very lively start to the game. 
Bjornsson throws it to the rock. Bjornsson forward to Hasicic. It's Adel Steinsen. Can we get the ball? Hasicic. Back to Adel Steinsen and Bjornsson's got it on the right hand side. We need to get a foot in. It's crossed in. Gulsvik's there. Balbi heads it clear only to Johnson who shoots and it's a great save from Molina. I'm just going to do a, a team talk and tell them to um, concentrate. To not make any sloppy mistakes. Honestly, can't believe Ljubicic's goal. Just touch out his feet. It looked like he had his back to goal and he just swung around and smashed that into the back of the net. Game seems to have slowed down a bit now. Viking go, oh have created more chances than us. And they've got a corner with Johnson who... Gulsvik! You can't keep the lead. Frederick Gulsvik with his eighth goal of the season gets the equaliser for Vikingo. That's annoying. Come on, we need to make more chances than we are. Still outside the relegation zone, which is a, a positive. Although it doesn't look like HK are actually playing today, but it looks like the bottom two are playing against each other. So as long as HK don't win, we'll be fine with this result as it is. But obviously if we want to win this game. We need to win every game. If we want to achieve our expectations of the season of getting the European place. I think I'm going to make a change. Hull Dawson's looking a bit tired in centre midfield. Hard Hardison's looking a bit um, shit, to say the least, in centre back. Um, I think Goodmanson on, he's in better condition. And then Hull Dawson will go off and we bring Gunnar Thor Steinson on. And start the second half and hope for better in the second half hope for a, another goal to get us a victory please oh Johnson's got the free kick whips it in Hasicic so close to putting Viking go right kick ahead millimetres in that one Gudmundsen with a free kick for us Ljubicic the goal scorer to Hilmarsson out wide brilliant pass to Olafsson can he cross it Ooh, he gives it to Thor Steinsen in the middle of the pitch. Hilmarsson, Finn Boggerson through to Bald Vincent. He should score, and he does. 2 1. How cool, Bald Vincent and Finn Boggerson. Brilliant stuff together. They were born to play together. And that puts us back in front. I'm going to tell them to tighten up at the back. Sometimes this works against me when I do this. Hopefully, not today. Hilmarsson's got a free kick. Olafsson. Finn Boggerson saved by James Shea. Two goal margin would be beautiful just to calm the nerves. The corner's cleared easily. Viking go still creating more than us, but we're getting back in it. Possession's equal as well. Balby's got a throw in now. Thor Steinson back to Balby. Benedictson, bad pass from Benedictson there. Oh, they're going to get us on the counter. It's Johnson. <sighs> Thank God he couldn't shoot there. Saved our skin. Shea with a goal kick now. Towards Hasicic, who isn't even challenged for the ball. Johnson. Good tackle from Benedictson. Risky though, because he's only got a card. I might have to take him off, because he is in a position where challenges are needed to be made. And that's a terrible pass. And The Rock just picks that up. Like the rock that he is at the back. Hasicic to Johnson. And Balby intercepts that one. Well, and Bald Vincent's now got it. Gives it to Hilmarsson. Finn Boggerson. Play through. Oh, good idea. Thorsteinson intercepted again, though. Hilmarsson gets it through that time with Ljubicic. Who shoots. And that was blocked. It's a corner. And Ljubicic is going to knock this one in the box. 
and that's headed clear. Lubitsch should be picking that up. I don't know what he did there. He was just walking past the ball. So we've got a throw with Balby on the right hand side. Gives it to Thorstein and then back to Balby. Good pass to Hilmarsson. That's terrible though from Hilmarsson. And back to the Viking goalkeeper. He went on a little little run there. Camacho with a header. Hasacic has got it though. Johnson back to Hasacic. Bjornsson's in plenty of space to cross the ball in. Camacho had to clear, but only to Hasacic. Come on, we need to get rid of this. Gulsvik saved by Molina. That was a great save. I'm going to have a look at the squad, see if there's any... Anyone I need to take off. Camacho is looking a bit tired at centre-back. We haven't got anyone to bring on for him, really. Um... Obviously, Benedictson as well, I'm concerned about. So, well. Mm, this is so annoying. Okay, so if we move, but then Rubico is tired. Mm. See, I'm concerned about Benedictson and getting another yellow, really. But we can only really bring on one of these two guys, Carlson or, or Johnson. Hill Marson's not really having the best of games, so I'll bring on Julie Carlson for him. And just hope that Benedictson has some sort of uh, restraint when it comes to his tackles. So very nervous with one goal lead, especially with this team when we've given away two goal leads before and lost. 15 minutes left. We're still in the lead, just about. Shea with a free kick. Intercepted by Carlson, the substitute. Finn Bogerson with a bad touch there, but he regains his composure and gives it to Carlson. Lubicic. Viking go get back so quickly. Thorsteinson, back to Benedictson. It's Carlson now. Back to Benedictson. Carlson, Finn Bogerson. Lubicic, can he get his second of the game? We tried. Wasn't the best of shots, but he tried. Balby with the ball forward. Cavande intercepted. Benedictson gets it back. Finn Bogerson now. Was he onside? I think he was. It's Baldvinson. Carlson. And he scored 3 1. Julie Carlson, the substitute, turns super sub. And that gives us a two goal lead. Uh, surely we can't give away now. Surely. Although they've got a free kick. Olafsson heads it clear. Finn Bogerson now. Counter-attack opportunity for us, maybe. Lubicic needs to get his feet moving a bit quicker to get up the pitch. And Finn Bogerson gave the ball away to Hodzic. Vikinger with a chance to attack now. It's end-to-end -end stuff going into the last five minutes of this game. Gulzik, good tackle from Thor Steinson. Baldvinson now to Carlson in some space. Long ball from Carlson. Lubicic won that header, I think, just. But it came to a Vikinger player. And it's Gulsvik on the left-hand side. He's got one already today. He shoots, and that's over. We've got less than five minutes left. This would be a delicious victory. Carlson. Tackled by Hasicic, but he kicks the ball out of play. And it's a throw-in, deep in the opposition half. Ljubicic, back to Olafsson. Olafsson crosses it. Balby's there. Finn Bogerson. I thought that was going to be four. Hasicic clears it. Gulsvik's there. Viking are not giving up in this one. Camacho with a great tackle. Into stoppage time as well now. Come on, lads. 20 seconds left to hold off. And that's a goal kick to us. That should be the victory wrapped up. There it is. Full-time whistle. 3-1 victory against my former club, Viking Go Reykjavik. Absolutely brilliant stuff there. It means we are still in 10th, but that moves us a step closer, a step closer to being able to catch the rest of the league. Obviously, it's a very small league, so it's quite easy to, to catch up to people. You can see that if we win our next game, we can, well, theoretically, go up as high as 5th. So, a bit less concerned as I was before this match. Tactic seemed to have worked, actually. The new tactic that I did. The next game that we've got is the Icelandic Cup quarterfinal against Grindavik. I don't think I'll bring you that one, though. 
Um, I might bring. I'll probably bring you the semi final. And let's just have a look. We'll see how how it's going in the league, and we'll see who who the teams around us are and everything, and if we're challenging for anything. And we'll be back with that in the next episode. But. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Feel free to leave a comment below. Subscribe to my channel to get all my content when it comes out. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.